Well, as the holidays race toward us, so do our Christmas to-do lists. The season is undoubtedly busy, but there are hacks to make it less hectic. Winnie's son is here to help. A well-known financial advisor, TV contributor, and mom of three, joining us live from the festive Roosevelt, New Orleans, a Waldorf Astoria hotel. Good morning, Winnie. Good morning. Great to have you with us here from such a gorgeous location. Let's get right to it here this morning. You know, we love them, but one of the big stressors can be all of the extended family piling in for the holidays. So let's start right off the bat here about what we can do to help manage that stress to make it a great holiday for all. Well, I love that you mentioned all because I think, you know, on the holidays, everybody has to have a great time, including you. And so for me, it's about taking away the things that cause me stress. And that is cleaning the house and cooking and prepping the food and then cleaning afterwards. Instead, I think one of the best things you can do is actually to take everyone out for an amazing meal. The good news is the restaurants in beautiful hotels this time of year, you know, have they're fully open with amazing chefs and they're nicely decorated so you can take those family photos because we know you're probably out of date on those too. And most importantly, if you choose actually a Hilton hotel, you can actually feel good too because all that excess food is donated to communities in need and right in your own community. So they're going to be making sure that not only are you in a great place, but everybody else around you as well. Absolutely. Now for many of us out there, finding the ideal gift can really be a big headache causer out there. So let's talk about where we should start when choosing the perfect gift for a loved one who maybe already has everything. You know, that is so true. I feel like so many of us have everything that we need. In fact, you know, this year I did something different. My husband and I actually sat down with our three kids. And bear in mind they're young. They're 6, 8, and 10. And I said, this year, let's think about this. You know, mom's a financial advisor, so I'm already talking about tariffs and everything else in the financial news. I said, we could buy you more toys, and we know you don't need another box of Legos, or we could go on a family vacation. And every single one of them said, yes, I want a family vacation, and I want to have a plan. So I would challenge you to think about that. Think about creating amazing memories rather than swiping your credit card and buying another toy for a family member. Focus on experiences. Abs absolutely. So suppose we do want to do, you have an experience as a family. How do we go about finding the best travel experiences? Are there ways to go about this to, to find the ideal deals? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's... the critical thing and important thing here is to create great memories, you know, but also to be budget friendly. So depending on where you are on the spectrum, maybe you get creative and think about how you can save some money. But most importantly, if you're going to go out and out to travel and spend a night at the hotel, I want you to sign up for those loyalty programs. They're free, like Hilton Honors is a great one. You can get free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, and this can actually help you with your future travels and investment. It's a win-win. Fantastic. Winnie, thank you so much for joining us right here this morning and sharing all of that great information. If you guys out there would like to review any of these hacks, we will post them over at roadshow.com.